We are rolling and someone should do one tani. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh Sabine Mahmood. Swad Be Ye Noon. Up Grazi may spell Kasik Apkapuranam. S A B double E N M A H M U D. Karachi is my home, uh, my city, born and raised here, and I choose to live here. Victim of uh, traditional schooling, suffered in a classroom all my life, and wanted to create a space, a community space, a public space for people to come together. And in 2007, I founded a nonprofit uh, called Peace Niche. One will always hear that young people are the future and young people will do this and young people will, will do that. And I wondered how these young people would ever do anything if they weren't provided platforms and spaces where they could experiment, where they could talk, where they could express themselves. I have things that I want to do. I, I want to watch comedy and I want to hear a jazz trumpeter collaborate with a tabla player. I want to meet artists. I want to do a whole lot of things. Why should I have to go to New York or London to do them? Now the second thing that happened to me, I had my first My name is Fazia Mirza, F-A-W-Z-I-A, M-I-R-Z-A. I am an actress and a writer. In January, I did the first 15 minutes. This play I wrote, this one-woman show called Me, My Mom, and Shermila. Did it at this cafe called T2F, run by this woman named Sabine Mahmood. I never thought I'd be performing my work in Pakistan. But thanks to Sabine, there I was. You guys, that's all you get right now. <laughs> that's all you get. That's all you get. That's all you get. But let's ask everyone. Fozio wants to come back. We want to see the movie play. Yeah. 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 I was shocked by the response. Two months after I performed at T2F, I was invited back to Pakistan to perform a three-city tour of the full play. Like my mother really did. She thought women should be a perfect size six. She'd have this long black hair that they could wear in a bun or a French braid, that they wore bright red lipstick, and they laughed with their mouth closed. <laughs> uh, but the first 15 minutes definitely didn't get to the as honest, vulnerable parts about being queer or about um, some of the admissions I make about, you know, all the admissions I make. It's terrifying. Pakistan lives off of fear. There's a fear narrative. We've had a history of military rule in this country and democracy has never really been allowed to take root. But I do whatever I want, I go where I want, I go when I want. I grew up playing cricket on the streets. I got my first bicycle when I was seven. Heart in mouth, hand on heart, when I finally said I'm bored uh, riding up and down this gadi, ab mujhe aage jana hai to jane diya unhone. And ab agar tumhe kuch ho gaya to ho gaya, I'll cry, but I can't stop you. And the streets are ours, I feel we should use them. I think that's the stuff. 
stuff that's scary. Those people saying that kind of shit. Oh my god. I get scared. <laughs> like, what? I'm terrified sitting here. Like, they hate everything about me. Ugh. Yeah, it's uh. Here it is. I don't know if I believe like in God. Yeah. I feel like that whole paragraph thing. I think about God and shocking. Okay. It's the Muhammad stuff. Yeah. And it's so funny too. I mean, I know. I know. And, you know. I know. But it's too pushing the envelope. It's pushing the envelope. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just that bit. Just that, that that is seriously problematic. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Performance में कोई बहुत ज़्यादा bizarre चीज़ें तो नहीं होती. नहीं. है ना? नहीं होती ना. You mean in this? For uh, me? Nein, there's it's nothing. It's just सीधा सीधा ही है. You basically. Yeah, I mean the weirdest thing. I, it's it's. Anna, it doesn't get very sexually explicit in the no. performance of it. No, no, I'm not like yeah, humping. humping a, also, exactly. I'm not humping a yeah, exactly. male so, or a so, goat. Yeah, exactly. So so yeah. yeah. No. So then it's fine. <laughs> not yet. I mean, I could write it in. I think we we'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> For these couple of shows, I think we we'll let it go. <laughs> next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. <laughs> So I do have to edit the play, maybe, because of blasphemy. So that's on my list of things to do. I have to tell the main guy at Napa that he's probably gonna have to lead a Q&A after the show. And I'm gonna have to edit the play. No big deal. One day, from an airport, I G-chatted my mother. Fazia, tum ka ho? You're always everywhere and nowhere to be found. Uh, I'm sad, mom. Are you? Why are you sad? You can tell me. I just, I just miss Elizabeth a lot. Oh, Fazia, it's okay to miss Elizabeth. We all lose people. Don't worry, you, Elizabeth. Go, you can visit her, and you'll find a new roommate. Mom, she, she wasn't my roommate. She was my girlfriend. <laughs> we were dating. That was a bombshell. <laughs> I never thought you could be so selfish. Honest and uh, authentic, touching story, and yeah. congratulations on having the courage to to write it, to perform it, and to do it here. Um, there are also, I mean, you you're not afraid to poke fun at tradition, at culture, at deeply held values and beliefs. So, how do you balance uh, comedy and uh, some of the things you actually want to say? Well, I think I think one of the the things that I find missing in Serious conversation is humor. I think humor is a way to reach people. Humor is a way to celebrate. Humor is a way to have a conversation you may not otherwise have with someone. I think it's so essential to talk about the things that have happened to us. Where are these stories of our people? You know what I love about us Pakistanis is this insane sense of humor. There's just so much dark comedy around us anyway. And we're very dil pink. We wear our hearts on our sleeves. I love that about us. There's something quite special about the people here. Can I ask your partner questions? 
about themselves. After I performed that first show, I realized it wasn't just about me telling my story. It was about giving other people a space to express themselves, no matter what their story. And I had a deeper appreciation of what Sabine was doing at T2F. It was that appreciation that I took on the rest of my tour. So how do you feel after having two standing ovations uh, at the Napa Theater? The audiences, all the feedback I'm getting, it's, I mean, it's really moving. this show today. I am who I am because I was raised with my religion. 25 people got up and left my show. They walked out. It wasn't so much, I think, the sexuality aspect of it. No, no, not at all. It was, it was the religion. You, yeah, yeah. When you were sitting on the steps and you were talking about religion. And when you said, for me, religion really is, really uh, you know, my mother saying, do, don't do this, do this. That's what they were scandalizing. Mm. Oh, that, that was Which is interesting. Far. Although it's not too far. Not at all. You didn't say anything to against any religion or anything. You said that's what my associations with religion are. But the and basically, I think you hit, you, know, you hit too close to the mark. Because like, you know, living and working in Pakistan, I feel you're living in a minefield. And <clears throat> you really have to tread carefully. You never know what you're going to say and someone's going to blow up. Imagine the identity crisis people like us living here go through every day. Mm -hmm. Especially as a woman, I would say. Yes. At least you can come here, you can try to reconcile, mm. accept or reject, but then you have the mm -hmm. space to go of and course. be yourself. Exactly. Of course. You know? After getting back to the U.S., I was on set filming a web series called Her Story. She's not even I like... know, I know. That's when I got the news. On Friday evening, Sabine Mahmood, a leading Pakistani human rights activist, was shot and killed outside the second floor, the cafe she ran in Pakistan's largest city, Karachi. Shortly before her killing, Mahmood posted a photo online of an event she just held at the cafe, which was known for its lively political and arts discussions. Friday, the topic was killings and the disappearance of political activists in the province of Balochistan, allegedly carried out by the Pakistani military. If I had known she'd be gone in just a month's time, I'd have sat with her just a little bit longer. I'd have done something. So many voices being snuffed out, so many brave lives, so many families away. I wonder. I it will stop. But we have to carry on. We have to carry on fighting. Sorry. 
I just feel like this is an essential part of the story, and if I don't get it, I'll be really upset. So thank you for saying. When you when you engage in things like this, people will say, "Okay, acha to you went and you stood at press club and you did such and such." And what good does that do? And I think that's the, the question is is wrong. That the, it, it's about. Uh, your own morality, your own imperatives, and you change. These experiences change you, and uh, and then you affect others around you. You change, you know. Husn haqiqi noor e azal Ae husn haqiqi noor e azal Tainu wajib te imkaan kohun Tainu khalik zaat qadim kohun Tainu hadis khalik jahan kohun Tainu masjid mandar dhe कहूँ तनु पोथी ते तुर आन कहूँ तस्वीर कहूँ सुनारे कहूँ तनु कुबर कहूँ ईमान कहूँ तनु बादल बरखा गाज कहूँ तनु बिजली